This is the plan. First, you will learn the rules. Second, you will get the tools. Third, you will learn how to use them. And fourth, you will start using them. You will understand what 3D modeling is all about. At the end, I will guide you through a tutorial in which you realize that you can do it by yourself and solidify everything that you have learned during my course. So, welcome and have fun! The Rhino Key basic course is designed for people who are just beginning their adventure with 3D design and modeling and those who want to enrich their knowledge with many important aspects regarding the correct principles of modeling in Rhino. The method that I'm going to introduce is my original method developed over nine years while teaching at design schools. This method helped many of my students improve their 3D skills quickly and effectively. Some even work in international design studios. Many of them have begun bringing to life their own concepts in their design studios using Rhino to model and prototype their projects. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to play with creativity, with your creativity, to get to design you want to achieve, because this is more important. As you are observing a lot of the objects, let's go to the Glugan. There are plenty of uh, different designs. Most of them doesn't look good, so I will teach you how to use your creativity to, uh, to design better solutions. Uh, so we need a couple of references for, for the beginning. So uh, those references are going to be just dimensions. I have already prepared that, that, that for you, but this is not necessary. Uh, I have I have it just to have a reference to keep up uh, with uh, proportions, which is very important at the beginning. So keep up with the proportions. We try to play with a couple couple of different variations of the of design, and I will show you how simple it is uh, by changing one curve or one comment or one tool to change design uh, like uh, significantly and uh, and then maybe you're gonna have uh, the tools to design your own objects to design your own uh, interesting uh, design which you're gonna implement and uh, you're gonna cooperate with the companies that's what i do in this tutorial we're going to make a, a teapot with the cups as you see uh, on the picture um, this is actually very simple it looks advanced uh, it is advanced but if you go through my lesson you will see how simple it is to create those uh, advanced shapes so basically it's made out of uh, right profiles which you have to construct at the beginning so those profiles are here and generally this is it you just need to know how to adjust them how to make them and then adjust the, the structure and uh, and then you need a bunch of other uh, help uh, resources to cut 